Welcome to week five of the folktale crochet along, which is all about the joining and the edging. So when you have finished all your squares, you have weaved in all the ends and blocked them, you are ready to join your squares. I have used the flat slip stitch joint, which is a gorgeous joint, which is flat on both sides. So it gives you a, a really nice flat seam on both sides. The edging is worked in three rounds with two rounds of color A and one round of color T. And let me show you how it's done. What I recommend is to join in first all squares in horizontal lines, then the vertical lines. And when you come to where your squares are joined, so when you have finished your horizontal line and you're working over the vertical line, I recommend you making one chain over those joints. So make one chain and skip onto your next squares. This will give you a nicer finish. To start joining your squares with the flat slip stitch joint, first of all, join them two together with the slip stitch into the corner chain two spaces. So your each square has a corner chain two spaces which you have created on round 33 of every single square. Pull it through. I usually kind of chain one just to give me, just to lock this. So we will be working on the right side of our squares and we will be working in a back loop of every single stitch. So starting with the square to your right, your yarn is at the back of your work and what you're going to do, you're going to insert your hook into the back loop of the first stitch on a square to your right. Grab your yarn, so yarn around the hook and pull it through both of the loops on your hook. So now what we are going to do, we're going to insert a hook into the back loop of the next stitch to the square to our left. Followed by the back loop of the next stitch to our right, making sure that a hook comes over our working yarn. So we will insert it into the back loop of our next stitch. See, so our yarn, our working yarn is underneath. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go yarn around the hook and pull it through all those loops on our hook. So that's our first slip stitch made. So let me show you this again. So now we are going to work into the next, into the back loop of next stitch to our left, followed by the back loop of our next stitch to our right. And again, our yarn is at the back of the work. We're gonna go yarn around the hook and pull it through all those loops on our hook. Oopsie daisy, there we go. Let me grab it. See, and the slip stitch is forming. You might find it a lot easier, which I do, is to place those squares like so, having the yarn always inside your work. See, so they're kind of on the side now, so you go, back loop into the next stitch on this square, hook over the working yarn, and back loop into the, into the stitch on the other square. Then yarn around the hook and pull it through all three. And again, back loop, next stitch, hook over the, the, the working yarn, back loop into the next stitch on the other side, on the, on the other square. Yarn around the hook and pull it through all of those loops. Let me show you one more time. Back loop, back loop of this square, hook over the yarn, and back loop into the next square. So you continue in this way, in this way until all your squares are joined. So when we finish joining all our squares, we are ready for our edging. I'm gonna show you how to do the edges on this, on this small swatch for need to squares. 
Join your yarn to any corner chain, chain two space of your blanket. And now chain three. And work one double crochet, that's UK double crochet, you were single crochet, into the corner, into the same corner. So now you will work in double crochet all along the edge into every single stitch and chain space. Apart from on the long edges, you will miss one chain space on each side, purely because you want them, it, purely because it's for the number count. So you will work on the short edges, you will work into every single stitch and chain to space. On the long edges, you will work to ev you will work into every single stitch and chain space apart from one chain space on each side. So now just work one double crochet into every single stitch and chain to space until you come to your next corner space. So when you have worked all the way along to the next corner chain to space, we're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet again all into the next corner chain to space. See, so that's when we are expanding on our corners. So now continue again to work in double crochets all the way along to your next corner chain two space. Work one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet in the corner space, and then all the way along to next. Repeat the same until you reach the end of the round. So when we finish this whole round, we have to now slip stitch to the first of the chain three at the beginning of the round and when we slip stitch it we're going to join our next collar for the edging so insert your hook into the very first chain which for me is this one here i'm going to place my new yarn on my hook and finish off the slip stitch with the brand new collar and now i am ready for my second part See, so that's how it's joined here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to chain five, which counts as one treble and chain two space. So that's UK treble, US double crochet. And now we're going to work a treble into the very same space. Chain one. We're going to miss the next stitch and work a treble into the following stitch. See? It's looking like this. So now again, chain one, miss the next stitch, one treble into the following stitch. Chain one again, miss the next stitch, one treble into the next stitch. You will continue all the way along working one treble, chain two, one treble into every single corner space until you reach the end. So when you finish this row, you should have wonderful chain spaces going all the way along on each single side. So what we're going to do now to finish off our round, we're going to slip stitch into the third of the beginning chain five. That's one, two, three. So that will be this one here. Insert your hook, but now finish off your slip stitch with your main yarn. You can cut the contrast yarn off now and we will work, only work on the main yarn for the next and final round. So now we are going to chain one and work one double crochet, chain two and one double crochet into the, the this corner space, the first corner space. Now we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch And now we're going to work one treble into the miss stitch from two rounds below. So you go yarn around the hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, but making sure that you bring this hook with the stitch forward. So that way your treble will be placed in front of your chain one. 
So yarn around the hook, pull it through that stitch. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn around the hook through two and yarn around the hook through two. You see? So your treble is placed nicely in front of your chain one. So now we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. And then again, one treble into the missed stitch from two rounds below. So yarn around the hook, insert your hook into the stitch, bring the stitch forward with the hook so it's placed at the front of your chain one, and finish off the treble as normal. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. Continue repeating that all the way along, working one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet into every single corner chain space. So when you finish this round, you'll have a beautiful edging on your folk tails blanket. I hope you have enjoyed this crochet along and are loving your finished blanket.